As I explained in the introduction, we're discussing a number of topics in this chapter that are relevant to the medications known as the histamine 2 receptor blockers. The term histamine receptor blocker is the term that we use for the entire group of drugs, or in other words, the drug class. Recall that the drug class is a set of medications that have a similar chemical structure and or they work by the same mechanism of action. So for instance, antacids are in a drug class that is against acid and they simply neutralize the acid in the stomach. As you'll see in this chapter, the histamine 2 receptor blocker also reduces stomach acid but it's not in the same drug class as the antacids because they reduce the acid in a completely different way. And we'll see how they work in this chapter. The individual medications within the drug class of histamine 2 receptor blockers are known by their generic name. Histamine 2 receptor blockers include cimetidine and fimotidine. Look at those two generic names and tell me what is similar about them. Cimetidine and Fimotidine. And you are correct if you noted that those two examples end in the suffix tidine, T-I-D-I-N-E. Not just D-I-N-E or I-N-E. That's important because other medications end in I-N-E and they're not histamine 2 receptor antagonists. So if you're ever looking at a person's medications and see a drug ending in the suffix T-I-D-I-N-E, you know that it's a histamine 2 blocker. Let's try that right now. You're looking at Mrs. DeGero's chart and notice that she's on the following medications. Nebivalol, Cimetidine, Momentasone Cream, and Clonazepam. Can you identify any members of a particular drug class in that list? And you were correct if you had said that cimetidine ends with the T-I-D-I-N-E, so it is a histamine 2 receptor blocker or H2 antagonist that decreases stomach acid. So after this chapter, we'll fully understand the receptor that ranitidine binds to, what happens after it binds, what the indications, the contraindications and side effects of ranitidine are, and that'll give us a pretty good picture of famotidine and cimetidine. There will be some differences, mostly in the side effects, but we will still know quite a bit about the other medications of a particular drug class by studying one member of that drug class. And right now you may be thinking, wait a minute, we talked about the opioids and a lot of them were quite different. To be clear, there are a few cases in which a medication of the same drug class is quite different. The opioids are one example because they're a very broad and diverse drug class. And that drug class is actually divided up into smaller units you won't find a common suffix of the entire group of opioids. But most drug classes with a common suffix have a lot in common to other members of the same drug class. So back to the medications that Mrs. DeGero is taking. Recall that in Chapter 2 we spoke of nomenclature in the Applying Your Knowledge portion of Lesson 2. And there we learned that beta blockers ended in OLOL. -L. The benzodiazepines end in azepam or azolam. And the corticosteroids have a number of drug prefixes and suffixes, including asone, cort, and pred. So you did really well if you identified Nebevalol as a beta blocker that treats hypertension, cimetidine as a histamine 2 antagonist that decreases stomach acid, momentasone cream as a corticosteroid that decreases the immune system response, and clonazepam as a benzodiazepine that treats seizures or anxiety. In the next couple lessons, we'll go through the process that you need to go through to get a really good picture of the histamine 2 antagonists. 
And that is what you'll need to do for each one of the drug classes that I just mentioned. But once you do that for just those four drug classes, you'll know quite a bit about 22 of the 200 most prescribed medications. So let's take a quick quiz. You're looking at a client's medications and see that he's on the following medications. Famotidine, methylprednisolone, diazepam, and atenolol. Identify each drug class that the medications belong to. So you were correct if you identified famotidine as the histamine 2 antagonist that decreases stomach acidity. That's the drug that we're going to get a really good picture of in this chapter. Methylprednisolone is a corticosteroid that decreases the immune system response. Diazepam is also known as Valium, and it is a benzodiazepine. It's prescribed for seizures and anxiety. And Atenolol is a beta blocker that decreases hypertension. Remember the O-L-O-L -O -O suffix.